got it. <clears throat> He's fighting. He's fighting. Oh, you get it. No, that's up. Here we go. That looks cool. That's okay, right? Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I've been I've been away for a little bit. But for this video, it's gonna be a quick short one. We're gonna be checking out a new little toy that you just saw rotating here. We could do back and we could do side to side too. Oh, we're calibrating. Sorry. You wanna come in and be a troublemaker? Huh? I, I hear you tic tacking outside. You just wanna be in your bed. Kobe. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. This is Kobe. Some of you new guys might not know who Kobe is. But he's a very good boy. Don't make one single noise or we'll have animal abuse all over this video. Yeah, you know it. You know how I beat you unmercifully. Yeah, you do. So we got his little bed here in the studio. Wait, let's tilt it down. Let's tilt it down some more. Hey, there he is. There's that little stinker head. Do you like the everything, man? Mm, that's nice. If I create a second channel, are you gonna subscribe? Oh. That was not smooth at all. That was not smooth. The whole box opened up because I opened it and then the sticker lost its stickiness. Today, we are taking a look at the Feiyutech Ching. I don't really like that name. I thought they should have had it pronounced King, but with a Q. I think that'll be a good rap name also. So this is called the Feiyutech Ching, Intelligent Gimbal for Camera. And this is what we're gonna be taking a look at today. So before we do that, roll that damn intro. Resume is a heavyweight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything. All right, so let's get right into this because this is a this is an interesting device we have here. Now I have it already rigged up to this camera, but I stole Vanessa's Canon M50 real quick. Shut up, don't tell her I did it. I'll slap, I'll slap, I'll slap. Did I not bring it? I thought I brought it up. Kobe, you took Vanessa's camera. You stole it. You're a freaking thief. Come on, lay down. I'm gonna close the door. You're gonna be sitting out there like a sad little boy. You gonna lay down or what? Come on. Come on, get inside. Come on, go, go, go. Get in bed. <laughs> little punk. All right, so let me show you exactly what this setup looks like here. All right, so we got the Canon ESR. So right here we have the power button. Just simply hold that down. This is also a battery, the whole, this whole slot right here just slides right out kind of see how they just roll on these two wheels it's one is for your pan and the other one is for your tilt i don't even know if i would necessarily call this a gimbal we are going to test it out as a gimbal but as you can see i'm just rotating and then if we want to go up and down it's kind of hard to do holding a camera and then there's a trigger on the back and then you could activate see the rabbit right there when you hold the trigger it goes to slow or you could just tap on it and make it slow and then you could turn the hell out of that wheel we'll turn it fully around there's a little level bubble right there and then on this side excuse this big doofy wire i just did this so that i can control the recording and stop recording with this i was just testing it out all that is is a usb to usb c right into the esr and it works perfectly so that's good. You can take pictures and control your video and control your time lapses with this. I kind of think that that's where this device kind of shines is in the time lapse department. And we have your tilt lock right here and there's no pan lock. But then what you could do is you could either set this underneath and just have a normal tripod and kind of use it as a desktop type of electronic tripod, I guess you know you just set it wherever you want only thing is this tripod just kind of goes flat there's no like tall stand for it it's just as flat as possible and it is a pretty heavy device so i'm going to answer a question right now if you're already thinking about it can i vlog with this thing no you cannot vlog with this thing it is a solid 
piece of metal and it's pretty heavy. It weighs more than my camera. It ain't gonna work. You can also attach this to this and then attach this to that and you have kind of a gimbal, but you're not really getting, you're not getting your roll stabilization. It's just tilt and pin basically. We're gonna test that out in a minute or two, but my, me personally, I think it's better off being stable on some kind of tripod or just on these legs on a desktop or something like that. You could also basically use it as a glorified video head for your tripod, which is basically how I'm using it right now. My, my honest, Complete honest thoughts on this are, I think it's extremely cool because it's something that we've never seen before. I've never seen a device like this before in my life. So if you're someone that maybe likes to talk to the camera and walk back and forth, you could have this thing follow you while you move and you know, maybe use it that way. And again, you get your motion time lapse with this. So that's really nice. I applaud Feiyu Tech for this device because again, it's unlike anything we've ever seen ever, or at least that I've ever seen. I don't know, maybe you have. Leave something down below if you've seen anything that ever looks or functions in this way whatsoever. I have not. So once I saw it, I did get excited. And then once Feiyu Tech reached out and they wanted to send me one, I said, absolutely. I would be more than happy to try this out. So I'm happy about getting to experience this. I just don't know for me personally, in my personal workflow, besides using it in the studio, which I might continue to do. I might, we might be getting some movement shots here. It's like I have my own damn personal cameraman. I might just wanna walk back and forth and chat with you guys from now on and this might be my new style. Might not be, but it might be. So that's nice being able to control this from afar. You know, you could really frame shots up without having to constantly walk up to the camera, walk back, walk back up, tilt it up a little bit. Ah, that's a little far. Oh no, my light's in the way here. I don't wanna do that. Let me walk back at night just boom now we're in frame now we're all set up we're all we're all right exactly where we need to be so am i recommending that you buy this thing i don't know is my review good enough to sell you on it i don't know because again i've never experienced a device like this so it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to be like wow look what this amazing thing can do is it amazing yeah i'm pretty amazed at it and damn it looks cool like this thing looks like a serious high-tech piece of equipment i'm just not exactly positive I, just, I can't stop messing with this controller. I'm just not exactly completely positive about who this is exactly marketed towards. I really do appreciate the innovation though. I really do. I think it's, it's just, it's cool, man. And I could see myself using it. And if you're behind the camera and not filming yourself, then that gives you a really great way to control it too. I think that might actually be, that actually might be the best way to use this thing is to be behind the camera and then if you're filming somebody else, somebody that's moving back and forth, you could just pan with them and follow them wherever they go. And you can control all your speeds on this. This, let me try to show you if we can here. Let's, let's hold on here. So this whole thing is touch screen. So you could slide back and forth. You can control your settings. There's all different settings on this. Then you have a button on the side to kind of go back. And now you're back at your home screen and you could switch different modes right here. And then you can go here, slide up. You could slide up. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't slide up, it was slide to the side, user error. And then we have our wide angle, which is cool. What the wide angle does is you could set it to take pictures and it'll be like this super high megapixel type of shot. It'll take a photo of this part of the bridge, then it'll move over a little bit, take another photo of this part of the bridge. You get it. So now we're going along the whole thing and it'll capture nine different pictures of the bridge and stitch them all together and make one huge picture of it. And it'll be a really high megapixel picture of that bridge or whatever it is you're trying to take. We have a pan shoot here, so just your panoramic shot. You have time lapse here and then you have rotate i don't know what rotate does let's oh boy i hope i don't screw something up here oh it just oh boy it's just gonna keep spinning don't hit the wall okay all right we're back okay wait hold on wait no no so one swipe over you have your sensitivity your motor power and control object so you have your electronic focus. If you have a camera that has some kind of electronic zoom to it, you could set that there. And then on the next page, you have your 
Oh, it's calibrating. Crap, I shouldn't have pressed it. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna tell you, Kobe, you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot of camera time today. Unwarranted in my opinion. Alright, so I've done way more babbling that I wanted to do on this video, so Let's take it outside real, real quick and just do a quick walking test and see how well this thing stabilizes this camera while moving because it is a gimbal and it is marketed that way. So let's check it out. Test. Wow, that looks pretty damn smooth, actually. I didn't really expect this to perform so well. I mean, again, it's not like a regular gimbal because you don't have any type of roll stabilization, but yeah, this looks pretty good. And we do have digital IS turned on, and no, you cannot, again, vlog with this thing. It's way too heavy. I'm just giving you guys an example. All right, let's turn the digital IS off. I know digital IS is turned off and you can get a little bit of an extension here but as you can see when you go like this there's no stabilization for the roll it's not too bad though it looks pretty damn smooth I didn't bring the ND filter because I didn't want to add any more weight to the front of this so we're at F13 right now you can't get some smooth stabilization, so you kind of got a twofer. You can use this as your tripod head and work some magic like that. And then since you probably already have the handle and everything with you, then you could just throw this on if you need something to be stable and get a nice few stable shots. All right, now digital IS is turned back on, get a little help. Doesn't seem too bad, can't complain. All right, that's enough out of this test. All right, so there you have it. There is my quick Kind of first look, not really review. I personally wouldn't use this device for, you know, real estate work or trying to get some super floating, smooth gimbal shots. I, I'm not really sure if that's, it's, I don't really think that that's what this is made for. Fabetech has other devices out there. So again, if I decide to use this thing, which I think I might, the more I'm playing with it now, I think that this will be how I use it, kind of as a video head for my tripod or when I'm behind the camera trying to follow something back. Oh, we're in fast mode. This wasn't a review whatsoever of it. It's just kind of a first look because this is really the first time that I'm playing with it. They sent me this like two months ago and I just kind of never got around to it because I really didn't really exactly know what the best usage of it was for but again you got to applaud any type of innovation and any type of pushing forward and creating new things especially for us in the camera world somebody does something like that other companies copy they build their own little version of what they think their version should look like of what this is and then you, before you know it you start to have competition and these devices get better and better over time but as of right now, do I like it? Yeah, I like it. I think it's a very cool device and, and I think it's awesome to have a little wireless cameraman with me. On that note, I think we're gonna call this a wrap ski. See, watch how cool this is. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the underscore everything man. If you happen to like this video, please throw your boy a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate that very highly. On that note, I hope everybody out there enjoys their day enjoys the night, and definitely, most definitely enjoy tomorrow morning. Salute. Resume is a heavy weight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need.